Hey what's up guys this is Anip Sky and today I'm going to show you how to install Android x86 on VirtualBox so without wasting any more time let's get started. So first of all open your web browser and go to the official website of VirtualBox to download and install VirtualBox if you haven't already and after you have downloaded and installed VirtualBox open another tab and search for Android x86 now go to the first link and download android x86 file from the first download option now click on download from fossab option and download the android iso file according to your system architecture since i have a 64 bit system i'm going to download the 64 bit iso file okay, since i have already downloaded it i'm not going to download it again after you have downloaded it just close the web browser and open your virtual box Click on this new button to create a new virtual machine for our Android. Now give your virtual machine a name. I'm just going to give it Android. Now under type choose Linux and under version choose other Linux 64 bit. Now give your virtual machine a desired memory. Since I have 8 GB of RAM, I'm just going to give it half of my memory size which is 4 GB but you can only give it 2 GB if you wish to now give your virtual machine a size now if you are planning to install many apps on your virtual machine then I recommend give it more than 10 GB but if you are just using this virtual machine for testing purposes then you can just give it a 8 GB or 10 GB at least now select the Android virtual machine and click on settings now click on the system option and go to the processor tab. Now move the processor slider to the point where the green line ends. Click on the display option and give it a maximum of video memory available. And then click on enable 3D acceleration. Now you can leave rest of the settings as it is for now. Now click on your Android virtual machine and click on start. Click this yellow icon to choose the Android ISO file. Now click on this add button at the top to select the Android ISO file which you just downloaded earlier. Now once you see this menu, go to the advanced option and then choose the option which says auto installation to the hard disk. Now if you don't get a black screen here while booting Android then you are already good to go but if you get a black screen while booting Android then we have to do some tweaks to fix it. So I'm going to show some tweaks how to fix the black screen. So first of all close the Android virtual machine and then click on the Android virtual machine and click on settings now go to the storage option and remove the Android ISO storage now select the Android virtual machine and press start now when your Android machine is booting you will see a grub menu like this. Select the first option and press E. Now press E again. Click on left arrow to go to the left side and replace this quiet with no mode set xforce visa. Don't worry I'll give the commands in the description box below.
after that press enter and then make sure that the first option is selected and then press B to boot into the first option now as you can see we don't have a black screen and we are booting into the Android system but this change is only temporary so we are going to make it permanent now I'm just going to quickly complete this setup screen Finally we are into the Android home screen. Now press Alt and F1 key to open the console. Go to the kernel line of the first option and then press I to go to the insert mode and then replace the quiet with no mode set Xforce Visa just like we did before. You can also set the timeout to zero if you don't want any menu showing up at the boot. After that press escape key to go to the read mode and then press colon and then W and then Q to save and exit changes after that type reboot to reboot your virtual machine Now when you start your Android virtual machine as you can see we won't get any black screen. Also don't forget to go into the settings and then go into X Android x86 option and enable the Android debug bridge so that more apps are compatible with our system. So that's it for the video guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked my video and found it helpful. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.